Zbigniew Ziobro has spoken out. His homes were searched. In an interview with Katarzyna Guska on Funkt program, he addressed the slanderous accusations made against him regarding his illness. The politician is seriously ill. He recently had an operation and is undergoing treatment. He is suffering from cancer. However, he is adamant that he will appear before the Commission of Inquiry at any time, even if he is in a palliative state. Zbigniew Ziobro, former Minister of Justice and Chief Prosecutor in the Law and Justice Government, has said he will appear before Pegasus Commission if summoned. Doctors have diagnosed him with esophageal cancer with metastases. I assure you that I won't and will appear before the investigative commission and give testimony that will show the true face and nature of the ruling politicians, even if things turn out differently than I planned and I will find myself in palliative state. Zbigniew Ziobro retired from political life in December last year due to a serious illness. Politicians from his party, Suverenne Polska, announced that he had cancer. The mainstream media launched an attack on Ziobro, claiming that he was faking it. If I'm wrong and Ziobro dies, I'll make a real apology. And it won't be an apology on a blog. But even then, I would say that his previous activities provided the basis for the opinions I express today. Sorry. Prosecutor Eva Wrzosek defended the publicist, comparing Ziobro's situation with esophageal cancer to a hypothetical stomach upset of a potential witness for the investigative committees. In response to the wave of accusations, a statement appeared on the politician's social media profile in mid-March, along with a photo of a sick man. I was very reluctant. I'm even prepared to show a photo of the post-operative wound, 18 centimeters and 17 centimeters on the back. It was a very serious tractomy, and sleeping without painkillers turned out to be completely impossible. That's why I'm still talking to you after taking very strong painkillers. It seems that the publication of the photo would end the campaign against the leader of Suverenna Polska, but it did not. The liberal left and society turned out to be extremely perverse. Katarzyna Kierzek-Koperska, a member of parliament from the Civic Coalition, accused the former minister of trying to make people feel sorry for him by showing up at his home while it was being searched by the Internal Security Agency. Ziobro in Poland wants to use public opinion to pity him. Meanwhile, Zbigniew Ziobro has stopped his treatment against the advice of his doctors because of the illegal actions of the prosecutor's office and the internal security agency officers. They started searching his property without prior notice. When I heard what was happening, I did not decide to go into hiding abroad where I was staying against the advice of doctors. I decided to come. There is a stark contrast between Zbigniew Ziobro's behavior and Roman Gierty's fainting when investigators tried to charge him. Then he left Poland. Ziobro, on the other hand, interrupted his treatment abroad and returned to the country, as he explained, to defend his family and the safety of Poles. I'm always optimistic and I always fight to the end.